In the next section, Nately takes his buddies to an apartment complex where he finds a man who lives there. It's a gross old man who speaks with Nately and tells him that Italy is doing better than America since Italy is already occupied and Italians aren't being killed. Heller expresses doubt that winning wars actually leads to prosperity. In a different aspect of prosperity, Milo, the sole force behind M&M Enterprises, makes a business deal where he's paid by both America and Germany to defend and attack the same highway bridge. Milo then strikes another deal closer to home, this time by bombing his own outfit, paid by Germany. He claims it's okay because he made profit for the syndicate, which includes everyone. Heller again is sarcastically critiquing the valuation of money over lives in war. The book then jumps back to when they were in the plane and Snowden was dying. We'll cut back to this story many times. Oh yeah, don't forget anything because it could be brought up again eight chapters later. At Snowden's funeral, Yusarian sits in a tree naked and refuses to put his uniform back on. The chaplain, who was leading the funeral, could see Yosarian but thought that the naked man in the tree was either a vision sent to him or he was losing his mind. He begins to question God and his faith. Back in reality, the air group is on some mission to bomb an undefended city. Arfi, the navigator, gets lost and leads them into flat. Yosarian gets hit in the thigh and is sent to the hospital. At the hospital, Yosarian and Dunbar sexually harass Nurse Duckett and this eventually leads to a relationship between Yossarian and Duckett, clearly the beginning of a healthy relationship. This effectively sexualizes all but three women in the entire book. Yossarian then tries to get Danica to send him home because he thinks he's crazy, but Danica won't, since who else but a crazy person would stay and fight in the war? Another example of Catch-22. Yossarian can't seem to escape the war, but the last time Orr got shot down, he successfully made it onto a raft, and no one from the bomber group ever saw him or the raft again. The book takes another sharp shift as Yossarian, Duckett, and his friends spend a lot of time by the water, but the nice summer day didn't last long when McWatt was buzzing the beach and accidentally sliced Kid Samson in half with a propeller. McWatt made everyone in the plane jump out with a parachute before he flew the plane straight into a mountain.